So my last video was about creative things to do, but it's kind of hard to do creative things when you don't have any creativity. Hey peeps, my name is Elon. Welcome to the vlog. It has been a long time because of this weird situation around the whole world, coronavirus and everything. It's left freelancers like me probably looking for extra gigs to cover up all those things that fell through as you can no longer go out and film or take photos and things like that, especially in large group settings. One way or the other, it's probably stressful in some way. And so worst of all, it killed creativity in creatives like me. And my usual fix for returning some of that creativity is going out for half a day or a day, hiking somewhere in nature. That has been my fix and has been working. I don't exactly know why until today. Since you can't really go out on hikes every day, I decided to do some research into methods to jumpstart your creativity. And I landed on a blog post by zapier.com i have no clue never heard of it before but the posts are very insightful and backed up by some psychological studies i found them very helpful and i wanted to share some of them so here's what they have to say and some of the parallels that i drew with my sources of creativity the first thing mentioned is how stress kills our creativity which is not a surprise considering the situation worldwide right now. So here are a few things of how to fix it. First of all, our mood affects our creativity. So a bad mood kills creativity, but being in a good mood actually enhances it. So doing things which intentionally, which bring our mood up is a great way to jumpstart it. So obviously a parallel for me is that going out in nature or going out for a hike affects my mood, brings it up positively, which sparks up that creativity for the work I do afterwards. Second thing is that contrary to popular opinion, we are more creative when we are tired. Logically, I thought that when I'm more energetic, when I wake up in the morning, then I should have my creative juices pumping. But apparently when you're tired, it helps. And that is backed up by the fact that after hiking for half a day, you're pretty tired. So maybe that's the reason why creativity is better then. Maybe I and you as well should start planning on content creation and conceptualizing scripts or content in whatever form um, in the second part of the day or even in the evening because apparently that is when we're most creative. The next point is looking past the immediate results of creating as in um, instead of thinking about creating my vlog so I can have content for this week or creating a post for Instagram tomorrow, you think about the long-term effect you're trying to have. So whether it's um, educating people or becoming an authority in your field or generating revenue, those are, those are all long-term goals which help you kind of look past the obstacles, I guess, and think about the real reason, which again, boosts those juices. The next thing is not to try managing time as much as trying to manage distractions. If you're a freelancer or you ever worked from home, you know how easy it is to get carried away by a link or a video or an email. It's just a black hole that swallows you whole. So it's not that you don't have time to do things or to be more creative or things like that. It's more that you are constantly distracted. So if you manage to manage distractions a little bit better, you'll all of a sudden have time opening up um, for your creativity. The next point is disrupting routine. While routine helps us be more organized and self-disciplined, it also kind of kills creativity. So finding big and small ways to disrupt our regular schedule and do something different actually boosts you being creative. So for me, hikes may be a routine break from routine, but then, you know, each hike is different. It's in a different location. It has a different dynamic, different terrain. So it definitely takes that box as well. Apparently daydreaming is a great way to boost your creativity because as you let your mind roam the possibilities without the limitations of reality, that just unlocks that box and helps you be more creative because creativity is all about thinking out of the box, right? So for me, aside from dreaming where I'm gonna be hiking next and how I'm gonna be spending my day in nature, my biggest dream is obviously doing my van conversion, which will happen one day, it will. On the other hand, focusing on the process itself of creating it apparently also helps as opposed to as opposed to the challenges and failures and immediate things that can happen. If you just let yourself create, it's kind of like a vicious cycle that supports itself. And at the same time, it also lifts our mood, which again brings us back to the first point of a good mood affecting our creativity. In general, these points aren't something new probably, but it kind of helps you remind um, what you can do day to day to get out of that creative rut that we find ourselves often stuck in. It, it helped me understand why nature had such an effect on my creativity and on, on my productivity and that's why I'm even more eager to get to my van conversion so that I can literally have my office 
anywhere I please, one day on a hillside, another day in a forest, another day nearby a lake or whatever, because I think overall productivity and creativity may go on to a whole new level. Till then, I hope this little video helped you guys like it did me in even the slightest way. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I'll get back to a regular schedule now that things have calmed down a little bit. Thanks so much for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. I just did this beard today. I felt like it. I had this long beard for months, and then this morning I was like, yeah, want a little, a little bit more um, well kept, I guess.